MikeBot here. Today's review is going to be on some Beavercraft tools. So I purchased some new uh, Beavercraft wood carving tools. Haven't opened them up yet. But I already have a few tools as you can see here. So purpose of this video is just to uh, show you what high quality the difference high quality tools make because I've this has been quite the process for me I've gone through so many different tools buying returning buying returning and then I finally found a good set uh, the only thing with this set is I uh, accidentally ruined uh, this carving knife here which is why I ended up purchasing all of those so uh, keeping a sharp blade is not as easy as it sounds uh, the most important thing is to uh, hone the blade when it goes dull not resharpen it with an with a grinder like I did so now that we're on the honing subject so I purchased this leather strop originally which was I think 10 bucks and then I purchased this really really nice beaver craft wheel um, since I'm new to carving I had no idea what I was doing so I thought I was supposed to <laughs> sharpen it on this side but no you're supposed to sharpen it here so that's why this is all colored on like a little child would do I've also uh, had this uh, whetstone for a while. I've been sharpening my kitchen knives and various other knives for a long time. So uh, I typically use a, a, an automatic diamond uh, sharpener, but wanted to change it up a little bit. So I purchased this as well a while back as 1000 grit and 6000 grit. Came with an angle guide as well, which is really nice for those of you that can't figure out the angle. I believe this is 20 degree uh, for a typical carving knife. I believe it's a 25 degree to 30 degree angle depending on the hardness of the wood kitchen knives are typically typically 20 um, those Japanese style knives uh, I think they're called satuko something like that or 15 degree so if you don't have a diamond automated uh, grinder this is the other way to go for sharpening uh, it also came with a little bottle here because you're supposed to soak this in water for 15 minutes before you start sharpening and then that's to spray it to keep everything wet okay so off to the wood carving tools so i originally started by making um, wooden tools for the kitchen using why did the name just disappear from my head using my lathe i don't know why my mind just looked like that but yes, so my wood lathe. And I made various different tools. Here's one of them I made. This one was a disaster, so it never made it to final production. So it just sits here to remind me of what mistakes not to make. So that's where this came in. This is for spoons, and this is for spoons as well. They're extremely, extremely sharp. Make sure you keep band-aids on hand. I actually went and purchased these uh, knife cutting gloves that have grip on the other side to prevent myself from slicing my finger off. I have a piece of wood here just to give you guys a quick little demo of how sharp this stuff is. So this here came with the wood carving knives. As you can see, I've destroyed the blade trying to get that cut back on it. And then this one here was my newest one before the kit that just came in today. So this one is still extremely sharp and nicely owned. So I'll show you the difference in just one second here between properly sharpened blade and one that isn't. So uh, the piece of wood you're looking at there is just a cheap two by four picked up from a construction site. They throw a lot of these out, so I try to collect them every now and then for various projects, assuming they're good pieces or wood, uh, like throwing them in my fire pit. Okay, so here's the one that I, tried to fix as you can see it doesn't do anything whatsoever here's the one that I purchased recently enough and look at the difference cuts through it like butter now mind you because of the way I have the camera placed right now it doesn't look that good but it cuts like butter and here's the other one again I haven't quite fixed it yet, but it's getting there. So 
this one here it's not gonna work obviously with this piece of wood and what I'm doing just because uh, it's, we haven't been cut but again extremely extremely sharp my apologies I have to cut there so next I'm going to show you show you the uh, the new knives so there's this one first which is to replace this guy that I damaged so you'll see what this thing looks like brand new I guess they give you uh, band-aids because they are extremely sharp and they're made in the Ukraine and they did one hell of a job with these okay so there's the difference this is extremely sharp the handle is still nice and clean all right so let me show you how sharp this thing is the new one this is the old one and again here is the new one so that's how badly I ruined that other blade next I am going to open the sharpening strop yes this will be my third one so I have the strop wheel the leather strop you saw earlier and that's basically it for the package and now this one not using the new knife don't worry comes with another one of these uh, waxing crayons I can find a better angle for the camera here okay let's see how that looks like comes with I guess sandpaper for this side it's an all wooden construction um, I think that's the leather strop and then uh, I'm gonna have to read up on this figure out how it works if you know how it works please leave a comment below so came with one two two sandpapers I am guessing it says here they're waterproof and all that I am guessing they goes something like this yeah that makes sense something like that and then straps around yeah I don't know that's what it looks like to me so I will play around with this later uh, no instructions unfortunately also made in Ukraine okay and last but not least the whittling and chip carving kit so that's it in the package it's just this guy it's wrapped in uh, ceram wrap the garage door is open so you might hear some noise outside nice little bow tie here and there it is oh came with a leather strop another one of the waxing crayons some band-aids looks like another one of these knives so my collection grows yeah it is oh no what is this thing okay let's see what the sharpness of this guy is oh yeah it's extreme, extremely sharp. Put that back there. And then there's this one. Actually, I'm going to put this new one in here too. And I'm going to throw my old ones in there. Okay, so let's open up. Oops, there goes my camera. to give everybody a headache with all the movement okay so let's see what this blade is so this blade which is about to slice my thumb off because it just came undone I'm gonna be careful 
unwanted damage. The nice handle. There we go. So this is a very different blade as well. Also extremely, extremely sharp. I love this company. And last but not least, Yeah, yeah, I'm working on my camera skills. Give me a break. Oh, nice. There it is. Look at the chunk that just came off. Wow. And that's the beauty of Beavercraft. They come razor sharp. So now that I have this leather bag, I'm just gonna add my old mics to it. And there's my collection of Beavercraft knives. Let me give you guys a better angle here. So old, new, new, the new leather strop, more band-aids. I'll add the other set of band-aids here. Actually, now that I think about it, the last time I bought a knife, which was not too long ago as well, it came with band-aids somewhere. I've already used one. I'll add that in too. So, leather strop wheel, the polishing crayons, the other leather strop I bought, and a new leather strop that I have, as well as my carving knives. And then my whetstone to top it all off. So there's my wood carving knife collection. I'll probably uh, start carving things out and I'll either make a new channel or uh, just post pictures on Reddit. So if you visit my Reddit, which is MikeBot, I'll probably just post videos and photos on there of the stuff that I end up carving. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video, which is a semi unboxing, semi review slash overview of uh, my wood carving tools uh, as I mentioned my channel is about product reviews of all sorts and all kinds so this one is a little bit different than the rest it's not high tech but I love woodworking and I do have woodworking reviews woodworking tool reviews so why not add some wood carving tools if you have any questions or comments please leave them below if there is something you would like to see please let me know in the comments as well like and subscribe my video please it's much appreciated i love getting the support from you guys that's it for today mike bot out